you know, this is where all the big money is. So we're going to go into Game & Watch, Dr. Robotnik. All right, we saw him on stream earlier playing uh, Waluigi. Well, not really Waluigi, but uh, me, Gunner, Waluigi. And we got DCDP3, who, I, you know, I think he was playing him. I, I, I don't want to believe it, though. Down throw, up air. It, it's funny. There's actually a lot of... Uh, California has just a lot of Game & Watches. doesn't matter. NorCal, SoCal. And we're actually at Pokemon Stadium 1, which is a bit of an oddity. Maybe they gentleman towards it, or it's legal up there. Uh, however, yeah, people who are like kind of wondering like why they're there, don't ask me. PK Fire, not going to reach right now. Okay, is he going to follow up for anything? No, immediately up bees, uh, gets a down air out of that. DCP not shielding it. Ooh, he shielded last hit of back air from there. In addition to back air, not really having a ground hit. I'm surprised he would, why, why uh, Ness didn't follow up. Fair, another fair, okay. Nice uh, air dodge to ledge, he was able to snap before fair was active. Nair, no follow up from there. Nice, great, okay, Gretzen ledge, gets a get up attack, is able to re, uh, is able to recapture stage control. However, okay, Game Watch, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, however, Game Watch had a full oil bucket. Doesn't really, follow, doesn't follow up, short hop Nair. Ooh, catches him with the tail, that, 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 I don't, I don't believe the down air would've killed. However, uh, you know, you don't want to take any more damage, and that's being at super kill percent right now. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, wow, you don't get any percent from that. That's actually the first time I've seen that. Uh, I know he absorbs it, but I, didn't, I, did not, I did not know he didn't get any percent from it. Back throw. Game Watch having no kill throws, really, so... Goes for fair. I'm surprised he's not uh, back airing. I guess, I guess he doesn't really play. Dr. Robotnik, I know he, like, he likes to play around, around a lot of characters in uh, his region, so... Maybe he's just playing Game Watch as a play Game Watch for today. Back air, off on shield, no, no follow up. Looking for a dare. Back throw is going to kill Game Watch being the third lightest character or fourth lightest character in this game. It's Pichu, Squirtle, Jigglypuff, and I believe Game Watch. Or Game Watch is fifth, doesn't matter. He's, he's still, he's top five lowest. Or is it t top, he's top five lightest. So is he, that I means he's at lowest of weight. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, PK fired a fair from there. Jumps into down air, down throw, side B. Oh, I really wanted that nine. Okay, hits him in the last part of fair. Mm, looking for PK fire right here. I guess he wants to get a little startup. However, Dr. Robotnik really, it seems like Dr. Robotnik's more of a, I don't want to say defensive player, but he's more of a spacing player. It seems like he's he reactionary player, if I'm going to really be honest. He kind of waits back, like he notices when, uh, like he, he, every opportunity he's taking, like you see how he's going in, he knows that uh, Drew has no options from here, and like he's just able to take advantage of it. Down th uh, back throw very early on. Ooh, wow! Oh my gosh, so, okay. So not only did the Eptid Hill get in Game of Watch, he actually also, it, it also uh, technically reflected the fair, so it didn't hurt, and there was no trade for that. That's what happened. I don't believe there's Tipper anymore, by the way, on, uh, um, bat, fair, gonna kill, has really good knockback. Nice play by Dr. Robotnik, even the stock up. But wow, that was, that was uh, Drew lucked out super hard. In addition, in addition, I wanted to talk about earlier, when you saw Game & Watch, he was up smashing, and he was, he was still up smashing through, um, he was still up smashing through PK Fire. It's because up smash has uh, eye, eye frames on it. Like, he's super duper invulnerable. It's gonna come, it's gonna come out no matter what, it, which is different. I, even though I said Super Duper, like, the, uh, those iframes on Game Watch's Up Smash are way better. Like, I know you guys are maybe, uh, it, I don't want anyone to mix it up with Super Armor, which is something where you still take the damage and, you know, you you, uh, you still do your attack. But iframes, you don't take the damage for the attack. So that's why it had that clash, that uh, that white invincible clash. There it is. Okay. He does, he's, he is able to get 20% off that, which is kind of strange. I'm surprised why he didn't gain any, uh... I'm surprised he didn't gain any uh, gain any health back when he initially grabbed it. A smash from there, not gonna kill him. Not sweet spot from there. However, Game of Watch is at uh, is at that good old uh, back throw death percent that all Ness is. Oh, never mind. I guess he has smash, and I guess he it was. I guess he was still buffered in uh, in the cookout, and uh, yeah, like no matter what, even if he put it away, it shouldn't. I, I'm just surprised. I, he's, he, he hit it twice. I, I, I guess he was kind of nervous, and he just got buffered into a cookout from there because you saw two pieces of bacon come out, which uh, is not what you want to see. Uh, that's, all, that's only game one. Dr. Robotic being a winner is really has a whole other set to play, so uh, let's see. I know he likes, like I said, I know he likes to play around with a lot of other characters. I've seen it on the streams while I, while I was here, and... Um, I, if he, I think if he busts out the Yoshi, he's serious. Otherwise, you know, he's just... 
He's playing with his opponent. Yeah, see, like, what is this? Like, they're, they're, they're on Rainbow Cruise, all right? This is crazy talk. This is blasphemy. This is Smash Brothers. You're not supposed to have fun. <sighs> How disappointing. All right, so DCDP, DCDP3. Yeah, I've been saying that super fast, but super correctly. Uh, he's going on. All right, we got Dr. Okay, that's it. I know he also plays Wario. Okay, I think he's like Yellow Yoshi, but we got uh, we got Clap Nation. We got Mango Nation coming on. We got Baby Blue and Pink Wario. Best costume, Mario. And we got a uh, Battlefield version of Rainbow Cruise. Uh, I believe the platforms might be the same length. However, I, I, I really don't play Battlefield on uh, in Rainbow Cruise form to confirm that. So I'm just going to ignore that. Nice. Gets the taunt, and then he bites his face. Bike coming out. Nice. Immediately jumps out so he doesn't clash with it. He gets hit with Bike. Dr. Vining off to a healthy start from here. Dash attack. Okay, good. Catches up tilt. Uh, I was going to say, Nesman no jump. However, he does uh, he, he does land. Back air gets traded with up smash from there. Nice. Shields bike. Uh, I don't know if that pickup for bike was worth it. Oh, wow. He literally, it literally arced over him because Ness is a little boy. Parries it. That is smart. See, he knew he only parried the first hit of fair. In addition, that he wasn't able, he didn't have any attacks that could have uh, countered from there. So he went back to shielding. That was very smart. Weak, weak fair. He realizes Ness has no jump. He's not going to challenge that. Looks for up tilt off roll get up. He got the he had the right guess. He just uh, did it a little early. Bite from there. Nice little two percent back. You know it, it's crazy that bite kills. Like yeah. Okay, no tech. Cause he has to realize that when he did that dare, he actually ended up behind him. And uh, I don't know why he didn't go for that tech. I'm also mad that I didn't call for the tech earlier because I was in the middle of saying it and I choked on my words. Double hit off bike. No startup on the clap gang. Nair, weak Nair trade. He has to realize he doesn't have bike for the next 12 seconds. Well, t 8 seconds counting. Okay. Huh, I'm surprised. He should have not had it unless bike got destroyed at like 6.38. I should I should have looked at the clock. Well, I'm not playing, so I, I usually don't care. Ooh, catch him with the spike. Let's go. All right. People were like, yo, that spike is stinky. That was in Smash 4, not in this game. Sakurai's like, no, 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 no. I'll help you guys out. Ooh, catch him. Double fair. Ah, he always won it again. Oh, man, dude. All right, all right, DCDB3. I see you. I see you. Mm, that wasn't that good. He did a full hop, relanded on stage. Didn't realize he was going to reland on stage and kind of just got punished. Gets canceled by platform. Bike won't be back till now. Bike's back. Bike's active, so he should keep that. In, uh, he should keep that in mind. Back air. Bike. Yep, there he is. All right. So when bike is destroyed, we'll know. Ooh, man, DCDP3. Oh, up air? Gonna kill. Yeah, up air one, you know, while the animation may be different, the knockback and the, uh, I, I, I don't know if it's still frame five, but uh, yeah, the, the knockback's just as good still. But, you know, that free damage playing around with bike is no good. Ooh, falls out of the last hit off, off uh, up he had a shield for Dr. Robotnik. So that's not what he wants to see. Back air from there, not gonna reach, so he walks the dog on him, only gets 1.2% out of that. Not what you want to see. Fair. Ooh, nice. Gets him with the up air. Realizes he's going to go try to go for the the quick dare kill. He's got to watch out. There it is. All right, back air. I mean, Dr. Robonic was looking for it the whole time. The double taunt from there. Remember, all ga all taunts in this game can get taunt canceled, so it's not like you really are punished like for taunting. Uh, double fair. Realize Ooh, nice. Charges the up smash. Gets him with the extra hits from there because he realized he teched in and he had uh, it was a great punish. Nice back airs again. Beats out the uh, beats out the dare. Wario no jump. Up till oh he doesn't get anything started off that. In addition, going for the shield grab when he got pushed off from shield. Not the greatest option. Nice nair from there. Okay, here comes here comes the back throw, guys. Oh dude, I thought he was gonna roll behind back throw. I'm sad. Okay, no bike to I think 421. So 420. Nice, he's pressuring the shield like crazy. Okay, that's, that was really good. Oh, he should have held it again. He was enabled. He would have got another poke off there, at least gained stage control. Forward throw? Okay. He bashes out immediately. Weak spot dare. Bikes on play. Bikes in play. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, weak spot weak spot dash attack. I don't think that's Dr. Robotic wanted. However, weak dash attacks are really good options to follow up with characters like Wario and Ganondorf. Weak dash Weak dash attack again? No fair. Ooh, he went for the he went for it all. I respect that. And Up Smash gonna kill? No. You know, I don't get why. He 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 dared. Oh, he catches them anyway with the Up Smash. He's going up 2 0, even though he's from losers. I you know, he dared and I mean he back aired Wario and he could have just I mean, he could have just back thrown him. Like Wario does have uh does have some lag because he didn't do a he he did a short hop on the back air. He didn't do a full hop and he went and spaced it correctly. So Wario would have landed on his ground and got a free back throw. However, DCDP3 really 
Like, you know, he just played that stock right. He played that final stock correctly. Like, those last three sequences, he kind of just knew where Wario was going to go. Like, the most important thing, here it is, uh, Dr. Robotnik right, going his main, I believe. Uh, the most important thing is he read the tech roll in and was able to charge up Smash. He just got a lot of chip damage off charging up Smash. So, we're going to game three. We're going to see what happens. We're at, uh, we're at Peach's Castle. Battlefield version. So I guess we're getting we're getting a lot of Battlefield love out in uh, Spokane Valley, which I don't know where that is, but down throw, nice. He di okay. He died in, he, so he's like, oh, I don't want to get hit by Fair. However, Yoshi being a little bit of a bigger character still gets hit by the last hit of Fair, which has a super large hitbox. All right, super jumps out of it. Yeah, I call that a super jump. That is technically not it, because I mean it's just a jump with super armor. But I just call it Yo Yoshi's jump for me has always been a super jump. Nice, reflects the egg back to him. He goes, you know, no, 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 no. I ate my breakfast today. Fair back throw, probably not gonna kill. Yeah, I'll capture it. Yeah, the, uh, back throw not gonna kill. Yoshi being, uh, even though he's floaty, has uh, some of the one of the best air speeds in the game, like Wario. Uh, no, he he has the best air speed, I believe. Then comes Wario. Yeah. Uh, that, that fact doesn't matter. Yoshi's still pretty happy for being a uh, very uh, air speedy and fake light character. Yoshi works out. Yoshi's thick. All right. Yoshi's thick. Ooh, goes for the fair. Air dodge. Get stage back. Ooh, misses. He has no jump. I don't know if Dr. Robotnik realizes that. That's why he was trying to fast fold down to the ground immediately. But uh, basically, even game from here. Nice. Back air out of shield. Going to take it. If he, got sweet if he wouldn't have got sweet spot, it would have been sad. Nair, no follow-up. Catches the back air with PK uh, fire. Okay. Uh, I was kind of hoping for double jab to fair. However, you, you, most Yoshis go for that around like the 50 to 60 for double jab, uh, fall down fair for a quick spike. Nice Nair from there. Combo break. Uh, Yoshi having... Yoshi's Nair, like like Mario's, like Yoshi, uh, like Luigi's, etc. Like most sex kicks, since he has a sex kick, is a frame three. And... Uh, the good thing about his is his really horizontal knockback. Like Luigi sends you up, and uh, no tech on that, gonna kill him. Good, uh, good edge guarding. Yeah, it, it's just a very good, it's a very good kill option. Gets him like with point like two percent on that because he gets him with the tail. But I mean, it was cute. He he was just trying to scare him around. All right, he goes 0 for 2 on that. There's two strikes on him. So next time Yoshi throws an egg, we'll know. Wow, what a, what a hit! Like what a clash for each thing. Like I mean, technically not a clash, but. What a weird, odd trade. Like, each thing just traded between each other until Yoshi's Nair won everything. No eat from there. Gets the PK fire. Yoshi jumps out. Oh, we were exactly even percent. So I was like, what's the chance of that? Especially in this game with decimal percent. Back air from there. Immediately. Ah, he catches him with the fair. Realized he was going to jump up with an attack because he he jumped pretty early and he wasn't going to get able to get a snap. Forward throw with its set knockback. Not going to do anything. Ness going for it all? Oh. Ooh, misses the, misses the uh, throw. Thority caught his jump. Nice. Dares through it. He only has one jump left. And he doesn't read the air dodge. Doesn't get it for free. Come on. You got to realize Yoshi only had one up B left. <sighs> like, Yoshi gets three up Bs that kind of give him uh, vertical. Nice. Gets him with the Nair. Wow, that was a weak Nair, though. To kill Yoshi like that? Hmm. He might have been fading back on that fair and could have killed. Doesn't catch the PK fire from there. Oh, gets sent back to the ground. He goes, no, 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 no. You're not jumping over me. Okay, fair. No follow up. Oh, okay. He goes for the down B. I'm I, I'm surprised. He should have went for. In my opinion, he should have kind of went for a, a grab follow up. He's realized these PK fires aren't leading up to much. I'm surprised he just kind of threw it out there. Uh, F smash gonna kill. And uh, Doctor Robotnik goes on the board. Goes on the board. And Doctor Robotnik came back, man. More like we he was relying on PK fire too much, DCDP3. When you go back and look at that set, why did why why, why are you gonna PK fire when he down bees like that? You know he's gonna shoot for jump out and you're only gonna get eleven percent off that. If you get down throw fair off there, down throw nair, you should be able to get one between that zero to thirty-five. Come on, man. It's all good. It's all good. I forgive you. Hmm. I really thought Dr. Obonic was a yellow Yoshi. I don't know why. I'm more mad that I got that read wrong. All right, we're going to town at City Game Four. I mean, Grand, Grand. I was gonna say Grand Finals and Grand Grand Finals down here in Spokane Valley. Well, technically not here. I'm not there. 
and there. There you go. All right, Nair trade to Nair. Gets PK Fire, only does that young 11%. Like I said, he's just super jumping out immediately. I mean, he's getting the reads for it, but at the same time, he's not really getting anything out of it. Ooh, walks the dog on him on that egg, and he goes, like, you know what? I'm going to finish my out smash on you real quick. Okay, catches. He still has his jump, though. Up there. Ooh, that would have been cheeky. However, uh, stage counterpick choice not going in his favor. Uh, Town and City having one of the tallest ceilings ever. Not ever, but in this uh, in competitive uh, Smash. Uh, up, I, I like the turnaround grab. However, up air going to take the stock from there. DCD B3 literally, I mean, really up to a, off to a great start here. Nice. Challenges his fair with fair. He's just been able to get under it. Like, he's just, like, he's, like, spacing his fairs just, like, just well enough before he... Uh, Yoshi's hurtboxes, I mean hitbox, not hurtbox. Yoshi's hitbox can really get him, and he's getting Yoshi's hurtbox, which is AKA his belly. Directional air dodge, not really coming out to, coming out to haunt Dr. Robotnik from here. Fair, re realize that was coming. F smash, throwing out those nice F smash read. DC DP3 didn't, like, I don't know why he threw out a double nair there. He was just throwing out attacks. And Dr. Robotnik took full advantage of that. Fair to double jab, going for a super hard read. Oh, man, what, what's with these super hard reads in Spokane Valley? No follow-up, dude! He lit, he DI'd right ab above you! It's okay. Gets out. Dash attack. Leading anything? Oh, that's a good read. I mean, that egg, he, I, I'm going to say he knew he was in a neutral tech. Grab, forward throw. Nothing follow-up. Misses dash grab. No punish. He fades out. Yoshi's going to jump away. Stage control. Reset. We're basically at an even game here. Uh oh. Oh, that'd have been cute. That'd have been cute. Don't dash up smash. He's like, you know what, man? I'll let you think about that. He, he, he wants him to live with it. That's why. PK Fire gets shielded. Okay, a little clash right there. All right, these straight. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Oh, okay. okay. Calls out the spot dodge. He gets him with the up smash. However, Ness being at kill percent, Yoshi kind of only being at kill percent near ledge, middle middle of the stage, not gonna kill. Gets eaten, goes for forward smash, gets immediately narrowed out. I'm surprised he went for the early forward smash. I mean, maybe DCDP3 is usually a very fast masher, so he read that. Short up up air, gonna definitely take it. And uh, Dr. Robonic up two stacks to one here in game four, but he's also up a set. So, does it really matter? Down tilt, no follow up on jab. Jab gets caught, forward throw. Mm, goes for double fair. Ooh, gets hit with a half. Oh, there you go. Gets the jab reset, F smash immediately. He's like, you know what? The, the, he's playing this right. He's just literally just trying to take percent right now and just trying to do what he wants. Ooh, that's going to kill him. I mean, 74% 74 extra, 74 of extra credit. I mean, he'll take it. You know, I mean, that's, that, that's failing in my old high school, but... I'm just saying. Uh, hits him in the last part of Dare. Ooh, almost caught him with the egg. Uh, nice recovery from there. Down throw. Gets the F tilt. F air. I mean, forward air. I said F air. I said everything but forward air. Even though F air is forward air. Ooh, faded just back. I like the read by Dr. Romanic right there. Good try. Short hop back air. Not going to do much. Uh, ooh, last hit of back air. Ooh, he went for fair. He went for the hard read. Oh, that's it. Oh, man. I, you know why? I was thinking of Lucas. I forgot Lucas is the one who gets a lot of, like, aerial drift past. Oh, it gets the parry. doesn't really follow up from there. That's a big parry if you could have followed up. Would have been a big parry. Ooh, catches him again. This stuff has no jump. Oh, dude. Only He, he didn't even get the sweet spot of that. Nice. <gasps> oh, no. Why? Why do we let everyone live? Back throw him. Oh, late reactions. Josh pecked it. He's looking for it. Oh, dude, you look for it so hard. The last 28 seconds you were looking for it, man. All right, F-Tilt into up air. F-Tilt sending him up akin to uh, Yoshi and, and uh, Smash 64, where F-Tilt also was a combo starter. Man, come on, man. You went for that grab way too hard. All right, well, you missed it. You're going to go back. And you're like, yo, why didn't I grab immediately from there? It's all good. It's all good, bro. Also, very good combat. Well, very good composure by Dr. Robotnik. You know, not really to lose it there. I mean, yeah, he was up a lot. However, it was just at a point where uh, I, I, DCD, DCDP3 got hot. And, uh, you know, Dr. Robotnik was able to slow the game down, play it the way he wanted, and, you know, let's go into game five. Will we be getting the reset, or will we 
be giving 60% of the pot to uh, Dr. Robotnik in Spokane Valley. Is it 60, 30, 10 there? I don't know. <laughs> Asking a real question down here. Mm, okay, egg. He's like, you know what? Oh, oh, he's giving him that protein, guys. Oh, okay. There we go. Hot start right already. All right, good. He waits it out. Goes for a dash attack. Oof. Ooh. Zero to one hundred eleven. Real quick. One twenty four. Real quick. Best part about this game is it's it's the restocks, so the game's not over. All right. Dr. Ronnie just waiting back. He knows he, he's like, I don't got to go over there, man. You do your little PK fire. Uh, not going to kill. That, that guy, that knockback got nerfed pretty hard. Nice nair from there. Egg going to hit him. Ooh, misses both. However, delayed jab. That, no tech. It's okay. We got this. Game's not over. This ain't over. Up there, nice nair out of shield. Takes the 10% real quick. Gives him another egg. Dr. Ronick just, just waiting back. Ooh, wow. He just called him out right there. He's like, you gonna PK fire? Watch my neutral B. I'll eat you, I'll eat you real quick. Yoshi, Yoshi at, not, Yoshi's at a, a scary percent for the nest because just nothing he could do would, like, kill Yoshi unless he spiked him right here or he, he uh, footstools. Like, that, that, that's what makes Yoshi, like, these, these proportion, like, this kind of area makes Yoshi so good right now. Like, it's just like Ness doesn't have anything that'd be like, oh, I'm going to guarantee kill him at 78, you know? He's already got lapped in percents here. That's my jam, yo. K Kona. Ooh, goes for the hard read over there, up air. Ooh, tries to call him, just misses it. Up air is going to kill from there. Nice. However, 120 on him with two stocks. I mean, two stocks apiece. It's not, it is doable. I mean, we just saw him come back from like 74%. What wasn't, don't call it a comeback because he didn't win. Uh, but, I mean, it was, you know, he was not out of it. Ooh, gets the grab armor off down throw. Oh, he waited for it. He knew it was coming and he just, you know, just doesn't really, uh, I guess he just didn't follow up. So, fair, gonna kill. Nice. Those are those points where you want the sour spot fair because it has a lot of horizontal knockback instead of getting the spike hit from there. However, I believe the spike hit of fair would have uh, instantaneously allowed to an up air anyway, so it didn't matter. That's it. Oh, he didn't do it for it again. I thought he was going to go for the double dip. Not Dr. Rodney. Come on, man. Make me look bad. Got to go for that double dip fair. All right, egg to up air. Nair's going to trade from there. Up. Not going to kill yet. He needs like 20 more percent on that. Okay. Dr. Robotnik has been doing that a lot this game. He does he, I, the last two games when he plays Yoshi. If you notice that he jabs on shield, he always delays his second jab by, like, I'd say, like, 0.6 seconds. Nice parry. Nice. All right, he's at death percent for aerials and back throw. Mm, up air? Ooh, goes for the up smash because he knows that he knows Yoshi's got that reach. However, uh, gets shielded immediately. Ooh, nice. Um... Uh, I, I, it's hit one of fair to F tilt. Like, so I want to say fair one F tilt, technically. But. Ooh, goes, I, that, you definitely know he wasn't looking for a PK cross there. I'll tell you that. Ooh, okay. Using the camera to his advantage. Nice. He reads that real quick. He knew that was coming. Yoshi, no jump. Mm, I, I was hoping. Yo, he should have went for it. Even if that killed him, he should have went for it. All right. The gall of him doing it. Ooh, misses the Nair. That's going to kill him, though. He hits the PK fire the wrong way, and that is not how you want to see a set end. However, Dr. Robonic taking the Spokane Valley uh, Smash Tournament, Super Smash Thursday offseason.